Peripheral venous cannulation is easy until it isn't. And in those cases where you just cannot find a vein or get a line working, ultrasound can be tremendously useful. You can, of course, use it anywhere where you have shallow veins, but a good place to start is the cephalic veins of the lower arm, the basilic vein of the upper arm, or the cubital veins of the elbow, which usually are the easiest. Ultrasound allows us to access veins which are located deeper, but as a consequence, our usual catheters may be too short and therefore risk becoming dislodged. This problem can be addressed by getting extra long catheters for this purpose. Proceed by finding a comfortable working position and placing the ultrasound machine within your line of sight. Now place the linear probe so you get a cross-sectional picture of the arm. Confirm that the target vessel is actually a vein. Start by compressing it. It should be easily compressible. This is usually sufficient, but if you wish you can use color Doppler to confirm a non-pulsatile flow. The black void in the middle of the picture is a vein, and the deeper flashing structure is an artery. Compressing the distal arm causes pooled blood to rush up, which we can see as a flash here, which further confirms that our target is indeed a vein. Now we recommend using an inline technique, so we rotate the probe 90 degrees. This will give us a very clear picture of the long axis of the vein. Once you've found a good insert location, prep the area with a disinfectant. Note how we keep the probe completely steady and slightly tilted away from the point of insertion. While being very careful not to lose our orientation of the vein, we puncture the skin in the midline of the probe and insert the catheter along its long axis. We can see the catheter come into view in the ultrasound picture, and there we puncture the vein, which is also when we get the backflash. Advance the catheter and retract the stylet. Note how this view allows us to assess how much of the catheter is actually in the vein, as this correlates to how easily it will dislodge. Secure the catheter in the usual manner, and then verify the intravasal location using the following technique. Place the probe just proximal to the tip of the catheter. Tilt the probe slightly in the distal direction and inject a small amount of saline. Minute amounts of air will act as a contrast and you can see how the vein bulges on injection. This is a safe and easy way to gain vascular access and we urge you to try it on your next shift. For more videos on ultrasound and anesthesia, go to interanist.org.